Your heart is a muscle that works like a pump to send blood throughout your body. It is divided into right and left sides separated by a septum. Your heart has four chambers, a right atrium and ventricle and a left atrium and ventricle. Your heart has four valves that regulate the flow of blood through the heart, its chambers and the arteries. The right and left sides of your heart work together to pump blood. The right side of your heart pumps blood from your heart to your lungs through the pulmonary artery. The left side of your heart pumps blood to other parts of your body through the aorta. A pumping cycle begins when blood from your body that is low in oxygen returns through the superior and inferior vena cavae to fill your heart's right atrium. When the right atrium is full with blood, it contracts. The tricuspid valve opens and blood is pumped into the right ventricle of your heart. This is called atrial systole. When the right ventricle is full with blood, the tricuspid valve closes. This prevents blood from flowing back into the right atrium. Full with blood, your heart's right ventricle contracts. The pulmonary valve opens and blood is pumped into your pulmonary artery and onto your lungs. This is called ventricular systole. The pulmonary valve quickly closes to prevent blood from flowing back into the right ventricle. Oxygen-rich blood returns from the lungs through the pulmonary veins and has filled your heart's left atrium. Your heart's left atrium contracts. The mitral valve opens and blood is pumped into the left ventricle. This occurs at the same time a new contraction is taking place in your heart's right atrium. When your heart's left ventricle is full with blood, the mitral valve closes. This prevents blood from flowing back into the left atrium. Your heart's left ventricle contracts, and the aortic valve between your left ventricle and aorta opens. The contraction pumps oxygen-rich blood into your aorta and onto the rest of your body. The aortic valve quickly closes to prevent blood from flowing back into the left ventricle. This occurs at the same time a new contraction is taking place in your heart's right ventricle. Meanwhile, your heart's atria have filled with blood, and the cycle continues.